What's up, guys? This is Savannah Hernandez at DC Pride. As you can tell, I'm very excited to be here at this family-friendly event that smells like Snoop Dogg's house and where people are openly drinking alcohol in the streets. Let's go check it out. Shake my ass! Shake a little something, you know what I'm saying? Have more gay sex. She spoke for it. She said it all. Okay, y'all. So we're in Washington, D.C. celebrating Pride. Why are we here today? Why is this important? Um, Pride is very important to me. I just came out as pansexual this past year. This is actually our first Pride. So we're just seeing things that we've never seen before and accepting all kinds of new things. And it's just been amazing. As a trans woman, I just feel so alive here and I feel very comfortable in my area. I don't have to feel like I'm being attacked or being destroyed by anyone. The LGBT community is always being misrepresented, underrepresented, and just shit on. We need to stop shitting on the LGBT community and give them their flowers. A whole lot of our cultural things are from the LGBT community. So we need to just stand up and say gay rights. Like, what are some of those things? Give us some examples. Oh, fuck. Um, how come I can't think of anything? Tell us what you guys identify. I guess you could call me gay. I'm homoflexible, really. I do like some women, but mostly men. Well, I'm pansexual, and pride is important to me because I I knew I liked girls for a long time, but my dad was kind of, like, homophobic, and I'm a daddy's girl, so it was, like, hard to tell him. But he ended up coming around, so that's I didn't get to go to Pride last year or the year before, so I'm here now. What's pansexual for maybe some of the viewers who don't know? You're attracted to anyone regardless of their gender. So woman, man, transsexual, or whatever you identify as, basically. I'm a male. I identify as a man. Um, as far as sexuality is concerned, I'm kind of open. Like, I mean, if you excite me, then you excite me, you know? We noticed there's a lot of kids in attendance this year. Do you think that's a good thing? you think it's good that we're introducing kids at a younger age? Um, I, I mean... It doesn't, it's not like it's killing the kids, like, it's literally just something different. It's just like dress up. Kids are going to think what they want to think, they're going to have a mind of their own, rather you show them, uh, like, man and woman, or, like, same sex, like, they're going to have a mind of their own. I think it's a good thing, honestly. I feel like your kids should understand, sorry, should understand that it is actually okay to be who you want to be at your age. And it gives you that time through puberty to understand if you're not that person like if you are just they them cool if you're her cool if you're him cool just love yourself for who you are shalom calling lai how about shamel shah let's see what the bond is today with gms and honest with akim be some bless you brothers and sisters that listen the whole full elect calling lai how about shamel shah man and i guess i'll try to this video the spirit that heavenly father hates the most is pride man and that's what these demons call this month Pride Month because they're pushing their alphabet agenda, the spirit of Baphomet, confusion, man. Okay, with your deity that's pretty much genderless, man. Right? They, this, this, that's the, the energy that they're pushing is gender fluid society. You can jump back and forth, male, female, tranny. They got drag queens now, confusion, destroying kids' minds, man. These children's minds. All right, I seen it the other day. Uh, you know, they having some drag queen show for children in um, Dallas, and that's been happening for the past couple of years now. You see, it's no longer a conspiracy anymore, man. And we told people, man, <laughs> were you accepting this homosexuality, this alphabet agenda? Eventually, they would normalize pedophilia, man. Okay, and we just did a video not too long ago on the whole feminist agenda. It's all about the destruction of the family. Okay, that's what it's all about, man. That's what he's doing right before your eyes. That's the doctrine of the wicked elite. When you go into the, you know, I don't say that book because they may give me a strike. Um, but like we said before, the whole elevating the woman, and then now the state is educating children, and now they pushing this what this alphabet agenda, which all leads to depopulation, man. But like I was saying before. And that's the spirit of pride, which leads to what? Rebellion. And everybody's in that spirit, man. We just had this whole C-19 fiasco. And you think people really a little bit more humble. Psh, man, they pride is on swole right now, man. 
Okay, because everybody's following Aisha, the wicked man. And the scripture tells you he exalted himself and upholds it all that which is called the Most High. He is the wicked man. Matter of fact, let me get the scriptures. I don't want to rant too much. The scripture says this. Let me get Psalm chapter 10, verse 4. Okay. It says, the wicked, who is the wicked? Well, the scripture tells you in the book of 2 Thessalonians, also with a capital W, he is the wicked. He's the border of wickedness through, through the pride of his countenance. So he's proud right now because he has the scriptures in his hand. He know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Hell, he knows what even happened to Pompeii, man. That was another uh, city that was into sexual things, um, sexual deviance. Okay, and the Most High brought that volcano ash on the ass and put them to death, man. I think almost 15,000 people died, got buried in ash, okay? Because they were into all kind of sexual illicit things. You see, I believe that was around the time 70-something A.D. It says, the wicked through the pride of his continents will not seek after the Most High. They're not seeking after the Heavenly Father. They have their own agenda, their great re-agenda, Okay? The whole elite, the Illuminati, man. Right? The Most High is not in his thoughts. It says that the Most High is not in is is not in all his thoughts. He's not thinking about the Heavenly Father, man. Everything he's doing is contrary. You see, he wants to be the Most High. That's what the Scripture talks about. His image, which is what his science, his doctrine, his agenda. You see, it's NWO. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. So he's not thinking about the Most High. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them, mainly Israel. He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. Well, the scripture says they said they think they're going to be a lady forever. But the Most High is going to destroy him, man. You see, the Most High said in Romans the ninth chapter, even did the same purpose that I raised up Pharaoh. Was that so I could destroy him? Because he was proud, man. Okay, he said, who is this power that should let his people go? You see? And the Most High destroyed him, man. That's why the scripture says this. Let me get Proverbs 29, 16. Let me get 2 Timothy 3 after this, too. A whole lot of precepts, man. Let's so get to these scriptures. Proverbs 29, verse 16. It's a beautiful classic precept. It says, When the wicked are multiplied, that's why you devil's going to be exterminated in the world to come after you serve you a thousand years, of course. Transgression increase it, but the righteous shall see their fall. So when the wicked multiply, obviously there's going to be more sin, because why he's encouraging people to sin, because everybody's following his his examples, man. That scripture even tells about Israel. It says, "Um, the righteous more excellent his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth them." You see, our people been seduced. We've been here too long, man. And now their deeds have surpassed the wicked, man. Jake was all out there in them parades, man. All right? These superhero homos, man. You niggas are wicked as shit, man. That's why you're going to be destroyed, man. All right? And it's not only in sexuality. A lot of these people, they boast in their wealth, they riches. And like I said, there's this, this degenerate behavior that's on the planet Earth right now, man. These people are arrogant and impudent against the most side, man. Right? Because the scripture does say, I think it's Isaiah 1914. But you know, before I read that, let me read the classic 2 Timothy 3. Classic, classic. 2 Timothy 3, verse 1. It's, <clears throat> this know also that in the last days which we're in right now, perilous times, evil times, man. Okay? Dangerous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Pride, 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 man. Covetous, boasters, proud, see? Blasphemous, disobedience of parents. You know, men coming up against their elders. You know, you niggas are proud too. Unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. Well, we're going to see that real soon. <clears throat> well, we're seeing it right now. The crime rate is extremely high. And man, the scripture says the love of many going to wax cold as well. Truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce. Uh, let me read that again. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent. Well, we see that all out here, man. Okay? People can't control themselves, man. 
That's why we talked about this sexual um, deviant behavior. Fierce, despises of those that are good, right? What the scripture says, woe unto you that call good evil and evil good. Traitors, heady, high minded, pride, man. And that's the point I want to get out too. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high, man. And we see that on full display, man. Lovers of pleasure. More than lovers of the Heavenly Father. That's the spirit on the planet Earth right now. See? But the scripture says, let me get second Ezra 8 and 6, the most high, man. See, you people, you're not circumspect. These people, they don't pay attention to what's going on. Society is collapsing right before your very eyes, man. Fuel shortage? That ties into everything. Okay, yeah, not only your cars and your planes, but also what? Your food that got to come into the cities, man. Hell, even in the processing plants, they use what? Diesel fuel. Okay? We see how high that is, man. This is going to be a major famine. That's going to break everybody's pride, man. Okay, which we all know is done by design and is being engineered, but also it's called what? It's prophecy, man. Because the elite, whether they know it or not, is working for the most high, man. All right, the scripture says this second as 856. It says this um, second Ezra's verse 50. It says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world. Because they have walked in great pride, man. Many great miseries, man. Okay? Sorrows and death, man. It says, but understand thou for thyself. Let me jump on down to verse 56. For 55. Therefore, ask no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Which are these people out here? Same, The same people that was during the time of the flood. is the same spirits as back on the planet Earth, man. Okay? These demons that you see walking around, man. Okay? They're the multitude that's going to perish, man. They're walking in great pride. They can't see the destruction up ahead. Why? Because they caught up in pleasure. They caught up into themselves. It says, for when they had taken liberty and is going into you Israelites, they despise the most high. Because we all out there on the streets. We on the internet. All right? They start scorn of his law and forsook his ways. I'm not trying to seek the most high, man. You think after this whole pandemic? And you would get more in order. You niggas wax worse and worse, man. Okay? Moreover, they have trodden down his righteousness and said in their heart that there is no power. See? And that's the spread on the planet Earth right now. Okay? Yea, and knowing that they must die. So you have to taste death by pain, man. You have to, man. That's what it says. For as things of force shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. All right, for it was not his will that men should come to naught, and that's called the two thirds. All right, but the rest of you heathens and I sharp, man. Okay, great pain is coming, man, because these people they walk in great pride, man. Okay, so call them La Yahweh Shah. Okay, Sodom and Gomorrah walked in great pride, man, and Mosai blew that out of existence. That's what it says is Isaiah. But we know why <laughs> uh, America's in that spirit. Because I'm going to read right here. Psalms 1915. I'm close this out. I didn't want to do nothing long. Just have to quickly report on this Pride Month. You know. Which uh, says demon, man. Alright. Isaiah 1914. It says, Yahweh Bashem Shah have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst of It's a perverse spirit that's out here. Everything is backward. See, everything is out of order, man. Upside down. See, the scripture says, And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. See? So it's a perverse spirit that's in America, man. Hell, it tells me in Romans the first chapter, the Most High gave these people up to vile affections. And he's going to destroy you. Okay? <laughs> All right? But, um... Let me read, um, I guess I'll read two more precepts, man. But So the spirit we got to be in, we got to walk in humility, man. All right? Leave these people alone, man. 
They are about to be destroyed. The scripture says in Proverbs 8.13, The fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is to hate evil. So we despise those things. Okay, we abhor those things, man. Okay, just like a lot. Okay, it vexes our spirit. Pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. So the Most High hates those things. He tells you that in Proverbs 6 chapter as well. The first thing he mentioned is pride, man. None of us, well, let me get that Sirach 10. I'm not going to quote it. I'm going to just read it. Sirach chapter 10. Walk in humility, man. Hell, even Yahweh Shai said, Why callest thou me good? For there's none good but the Most High. Okay? There's none good but the Heavenly Father, man. Yahweh Shai said that. All right? He was perfect, man. All right? But scripture says this Sirach chapter 10. Verse 7, I'm going to jump to verse 12. It says, Pride is hateful before the Most High and man, and by both do one commit iniquity. Verse 12, The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High, and his heart is turned away from his Maker. You see? It says, For, for pride is the beginning of sin, and he'd have it shall pour out abomination. So it leads to what? Abominable things. Things that the Heavenly Father detests. Alright? And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. You see? When you walk in pride, man. Okay? And we all know what the Most High did to the heathen nations in times past. Look what he did to Nebuchadnezzar when he got proud, man. He may put him on the level of what? A beast, man. And then he finally understood that the Most High ruled in the kingdom of men, man. Okay, and that's why I'm going to read this precept right here. Verse 16. The Lord overthrew countries of the heathen and destroyed them to the foundation of the earth. And he's about to do that to America. Okay. I right, Shaw, you about to be humbled, man. See, you about to be made a base. Okay, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to close out this last precept of the book of Jude. Call him la yahal Shah. Let's get it. Jude 1 and 7. See? Jude 1 and 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, sexual, sexual immorality. Okay, fornication, I'm talking about premarital sex. Okay? Things that's um, inordinate affections, so to speak. All right? Homosexuality is one of them. Bestiality is also part of that. Uh, you could even say adultery. Okay? That all goes into what? Fornication, man. Incest. Okay? Things that's um, um, sexually immoral. Alright? So, let me uh, read that. Finish out that precept and that'll be it. Jude 1, 7. Let me read it again. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication. And going after strange flesh. And we see that on full display in America right now. And for that fact alone, this place will be destroyed. We're not even talking about the other crimes that took place on the soils of America. Just based on that very act alone, this place is going to be destroyed, man. Okay? It says, and, and then promoting it the way they are, man. Are set for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. And that's indicative of America, man. Okay? So what? Most High is about to overthrow y'all with that eternal fire. His wrath, man. All right? So that, I'm going to say, Kolayim la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Shalom.